Um, thank you so much. It's uh, super exciting to be here today. And um, I vow is, stands for Voices of Wisdom and a vow to train the next generation of AI to be culturally conscious. My background is 22 years at NPR News. My last position at NPR was senior producer of the Identity and Culture Unit, where many of the issues that you will see in my little four minute pitch uh, exist today. Um, the problem that we're facing is that AI um, is currently shaping the future of storytelling and automated stories. However, these tools are missing global voices and cultural data, leveraging uh, a large portion of the planet's population in the future, who will be left behind from stories in the future. These are headlines that you guys have read, reported on, the idea that AI systems are built by human beings with implicit biases, and so it's no wonder bots are also biased. Uh, the idea that um, adding diversity to artificial intelligence is non-negotiable. So our solution is bringing together global narratives into AI and Internet of Things uh, with multiple applications and revenue streams. So imagine your daughter has an assignment to do a history uh, essay on American traditions, and you're at an AI conference. She walks in the kitchen. She goes to the bot and asks Ivao to tell her a story from the Hispanic tradition. In a minute, I'll play uh, a piece of that audio. Or uh, you have a um, app that allows you to capture cultural traditions that are happening around you, and through our um, AI system, you'll be able to get matching stories around cultural traditions from around the world. Um, this is the challenge of AI today. This is a picture that I put in the Amazon API. Uh, you see it's St. Patrick's Day in San Francisco. However, um, the good news is that the um, image is very identifiable, 99.1% confidence that there's a kilt in here and a bagpipe. But if you put an image from uh, another celebration in New Mexico, which happens annually, the um, API system is confused and thinks that this uh, headdress is actually a female. If you look at our AI solution, we are working with journalists, data scientists, and partners, uh, specifically uh, Miguel Gandert, who's an ethnographer and emeritus professor of journalism at the University of New Mexico, who has gifted his 30-year collection of images from the Southwest of traditions, uh, Indo-Hispanic traditions. So our uh, prototype is based on Hispanic Americans. Um, you can see that this is the API from Amazon in February, and then here it's after it's gone through our cultural engine. The idea that currently AI allows you to create sort of like extended captions, and so that's what we're looking at, which is extended captions that tell you a story of a tradition. Um, so for the app, uh, it took Shazam 14 years to be Shazam. So uh, we think of our work as beneficial AI. It's going to take time to do what we're going to do. A previous talker, uh, panelist talk about tedious data gathering. That's our responsibility as journalists, as uh, public radio uh, producers, to be able to tag these data and to be able to create opportunities for people to share their stories. In terms of the bot, if you go to the Google Assistant and ask Ivao to tell you a story, um, it might tell you this story from a uh, Hispanic tradition. What do I press? <laughs> hey, Google, ask Ivao to tell a story from the Hispanic traditions. All right, getting the test version of Ivao. My name is Cindy Quijosa, and I'm of Hispanic heritage. And one of the most significant traditions that we practice is the quinceanera. My mom had one, my grandmother had one, and honestly, at first, I didn't want one. So these are voices of humanity. Our uh, global partners include, uh, we are Stanford affiliates. We are working with the United Nations and uh, Morgan State University. We believe that uh, our flexible solution can adapt to content needs of many industries, and we can act as your innovation partner to tell different stories. Um, our business model is basically we're an early startup right now and we're looking for seed funding, but we believe that the market is uh, prime for a application like this. And um, as I mentioned, uh, Stanford Media 
is our affiliate, as well as Southwestern Indian Politic Institute and SAP NextGen. Uh, our team comes from uh, NPR BuzzFeed, uh, Key Maleski, who is the uh, data researcher, was called the queen of all knowledge by Scott Simon. So we're super excited about our team and looking forward to staying in touch. Thank you so much.